Hi, welcome to Guitar Time. I'm Robert Nolan, your guitar teacher. Well, I'm continuing on with the Delta Blues feel in the key of E. But this bass line I'm going to show you today, it could be put in any key. Uh, there's a lot of things you can learn about the intervals in this bass line, and there's a lot of ways you could play it. I'm going to give you just a couple to get you started on this today. Back some time ago on one of my CD record albums, I did a song that I wrote called, I'm Just As Sweet As I Can Be. Uh, has to do with, I ain't no box of chocolates all the time. <laughs> it it kind of had some humorous words in it. But uh, anyways, I put it to this bass line that actually I heard had heard Albert King and other uh, artists use this bass line in some ways. I think I changed it a little bit to, to kind of own it for myself. But it can be a lot of songs, okay? So here we go. We're in the key of E, and I'm dealing with my open E string, and I'm going to do a slide from hitting the open E to, from G to G sharp, a slide with my third finger. So I'm going to hit that E twice, one hand. Then I'm going to go to the B, which is the fifth, the C sharp, which is the six, major six. And then after that six, I'm going to put a dominant seven in which is D, my fourth finger, and then my back to the uh, third finger, right, the major six, and then fifth. So listen to the bass line. So I've got kind of a groove going, so it's like a one and two and a three and four and one and two and a three and hear the triplet, one and two and a one and two and a three and four and so I can move that pattern to A and back to E. It's kind of accented A. Hear the slide? I could just hammer the second third finger and be another way. Sounds fine too. I like to do the slide sometimes. Now when we get to B, we can do B rooted on type 2 on the on the A string and slide up to the 6th fret for the uh, E flat, F sharp, G sharp, A. So uh, one way to do this, I can put the slide in or, or just hammer the D to E flat. And I could also, instead of playing the B here on the second fret, I could put the B on the seventh fret E string. Even slide into that B. And that way, this becomes a movable pattern if I was. A And I could even do my A with a closed A instead of an open. Slide or hammered note. So I'll let you figure out which way you want to do it. It's probably good to learn it in all ways. And learn to voice it in different areas of your guitar. And even taking that... I'm in form too. Wow, what a cool kind of line is that. could do uh, so you can see your intervals and you should the hammer to the A or half step major third perfect fifth six major dominant seven hit twice back to the six back to the fifth If I'm as an E, now look at the open riff here, right? I want to show this closer to you. So you get the E, hammer the G sharp, open B, C sharp, D, twice, back to C sharp, open B. 
I could even put a little grit on that. And then we get back to... Yeah. So if I did it in a 12 bar form, I might do it something like this. And then I could just ride on the, the root for the turn. Then it starts over again. Now the next time I do this, I'm going to add harmony. I'm going to double up that, that D with an F sharp. I could either do it with my third and second finger or my fourth and third finger. And then my next chord would be C sharp E. And I'd probably just hit a B, right? And I hit the, the, the C sharp and the E. That A, E. B. Or I could have done B here. Or I could have done B here. A. And you can double that note sometimes. And then you could put a turn. sharp, open A, B7. So we could do this really slow. Check this out. Ah, come on, Robert. Yeah, slow. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
have fun with it. You can learn a lot from knowing your intervals, learning those patterns in other geographic areas and with other forms, one, two, three, four, five forms, and explore it. Go on adventures in the Delta Blues with this bass line riff. Um, so my song was something like this. How did it go? It was on one of my records, a CD. Well, I'm a sweet. I'm just as sweet as I can be. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm just as sweet. I'm just as sweet as I can be. Well, I ain't no box of chocolates. I'm just as sweet as I can be. I got a lot of words on that one. I have to bring that one back and record it again. <laughs> Anyways, I learned a lot from that line. And you can get into that slow delta groove, kind of like a Muddy Waters thing. Even. Holland Wolf, uh, Hubert Sumlin, uh, a lot of guys fashioned their styles in those delta, sleazy, slow-moving bass line kind of things. Well... You've been at guitar time, so I hope you uh, surf around, and there's more playlists and more things we can learn, but there's quite a lot to absorb with this Delta E and the bass lines that I've been showing you in the riffs and turnarounds. All right. Yay!